I was sort of standing front center and like leaning toward Ray Charles as much as I can, sort of trying to push forward, maybe for a hug, maybe for a photograph. Um, and at that moment, I felt like a little, like a little, like maybe a lift almost on the, on the cheek. Like, a, I want to call it a nudge or, or a grab, but it was sort of like this, like a, you're just kind of feeling it. It was a, a feel. <laughs> um, I was startled. I was, I stood up really tall and I looked back at him and he didn't make eye contact with me. So to me, it didn't seem like an accident. It didn't feel like an accident. When I heard Anderson Cooper on Sunday night, pose the question to Donald, did you in fact ever grope a woman? He blatantly says, no, I jumped off of my couch. My whole family is watching. My daughter is there. My father is there. And I said, that's a lie. And I wanted to rip this microphone out of his hand, tell the man to sit down. I'll answer this question and I'll do it honestly and truthfully. And my daughter puts her hand on my shoulder and she goes, mom, this is a big deal. This is a serious ordeal right now. Do you know what this man has done? And I just sort of looked at her like kind of baffled, like, uh, you know, maybe she's right. Am I? Am I just brushing this off like I always have? Am I, am I just using comedy as a defense mechanism for my pain? And I really started to go deeper into my soul and do a lot of soul searching that night. And it took me a couple days. I called everybody and I, I, I immediately text Ken and I said, are you watching this debate right now? He goes, yeah. And he knew the story and he goes, wow, that Donald, huh?